Hello guys and welcome to another video. So what I want to talk about today is my materials and what I use for this video. So what I use is watercolor paint, watercolor paper, and an assortment of different kinds of brushes. So let's talk paint. The paint I use is artist grade paints from different brands. These brands are Daniel Smith, Core, Shinhan, and Holbein. The colors I use for this painting are Quinburn Orange and Mine Orange from Daniel Smith, Thalo Blue by Core, Violet, Viridian, and Ultramarine by Shinhan, and Quin Magenta and Quin Gold by Holbein. I use these brands because they behave in a way that suits my painting style. Some brands even behave differently than others. For example, Kor and Shinhan don't use a gum arabic binder. This lets them behave differently than your normal watercolors. And that's why I like them. Um, they add variety to my colors and they add variety to my painting experience. So let's talk paper. The paper I'm using right now is Saunders watercolor paper. The paper you use is important because it will affect the way you will paint. An example of this is painting on unsized watercolor paper. Unsized paper just absorbs the watercolor too much and your colors are less vibrant. That's why I use Saunders watercolor paper instead. Now let's talk brushes. Now, this has more variety compared to watercolor paper and watercolors because they come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and hairs. This will totally affect your painting experience. For me, I like a soft round brush to lay down some paint and a stiff round brush to adjust the edges of the paint that I lay down. For this painting, I use a round soft hair brush or a calligraphy brush to lay down the paint and I use a synthetic brush to adjust the edges. I also use a soft hake brush to lay in water and lay in large areas of color. For details, I use smaller soft hair brushes to apply it. And for the hairs, I use a rigger, a soft rigger brush. The brush brands I use are Escoda, Silver Brush, Princeton, and the Duvier brand of Hake brush and calligraphy brushes. The brushes you make will make an impact on your painting because they literally dictate the marks you will make and lay down on your painting. Well guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you learned a little more about my process and I hope you enjoy the rest of the speed paint. Bye!